Okay, YouTubers, I'm back today working on my 2019 fifth generation Forerunner. And uh, I am going to capture a series of videos, uh, maintenance videos, primarily as a reference for me in the future, but I'll share it with you in case it's of helpful or help to you. Uh, what I started out doing today is I decided to go ahead and replace a full replacement of the power steering fluid. This this vehicle has uh, right about 45,000 miles on it, so I'm doing a full service on it, primarily because I do a lot of towing. Uh, we pull a little a camper, RV, and so it's important to keep these vehicles serviced. But I thought I would share with you an easy way, uh, at least easy for me, uh, starting with the power steering fluid. Uh, now you remove your cap on your uh, power steering reservoir. Uh, start out by removing that cap. Then there's an inset here. And you can just take a little screwdriver or something just to help lift that inset out. Drain all of this out and use a syringe uh, I use just a little uh, 60 milliliter syringe or something like that that'll get down in there, help you pull out that fluid. Although that's not absolutely required, as you'll see, but uh, I did start doing that. You don't really can bypass that procedure by doing what I'm about to show you. But uh, if you want to, go ahead and open that and get you a fresh start of your power steering fluid. I use just a measuring cup uh, I would. I went ahead and overfilled it because I knew I was going to pull it all out. There are two hoses here. There's this top one, and then there's a bottom. Go ahead and take you a pair of pliers and open that clamp, and then ease this hose off of this reservoir. Now, this here, when you activate your uh, uh, engine. And really, you don't even start the engine. You just do the two clicks. Uh, what's going to happen as you move your steering, it's going to uh, pull the fluid out. So you'll want to catch this. I've got a drain pan below. You can take and pull this hose off and stuff it with like a piece of vinyl or something and, and go down to a drain pan. What I did is just kind of held it and angled it to let it push the fluid into my drain pan below. So I started out, I filled this full with new fluid, removed this hose, then I turned the uh, ignition. I didn't really start the engine, I just did the two clicks beyond the accessory point, uh, which actuated everything. Then started turning the steering left and right, left and right, back and forth. Each time you do that, you're gonna see that old fluid being pumped out of this hose into your drain pan. Now you will need to capture or hold this. You can do it with your finger because at the same time, this is the feed point. So this is going to want to draw fluid. So what I did when I removed the hose is I just capped off of the plastic part here with my finger and I, I basically then held the rubber hose so that it could dispense all the old fluid. And periodically, I just would reach over and refill this uh, with fresh fluid. And I know it sounds like doing three jobs with one hand, and, but it's not as complicated as it sounds. You do need someone in the vehicle uh, to turn the steering for you. And as you, as they're turning that steering, you'll see the old fluid come out of the black hose here and you'll be capturing that into your drain pan. And if you're, if you're changing out, you'll see when it changes from old to new to fresh fluid. When it's reached that point, you know you have cycled this enough so that you now have a complete flush. And uh, so that's exactly what I did. Once I then saw the old turn to fresh, kind of like when you're doing a brake a break bleed. Uh, once I saw that, then I knew I had flushed the entire system. It was just a matter of putting the hose back on, putting the clamp back on, making sure that my reservoir was filled to the max capacity. 
I did go ahead and start the engine at that point and then go full left, full right locks back and forth just to see if it pulled any more fluid and to make sure everything was working as expected. Very smooth operation. You probably will see a difference uh, in putting fresh fluid in there, especially if yours is degraded over the years. So there you can see my max fill line. This job is complete. I'm gonna put my cap back on and we'll move on to my next project and I'll also capture that and upload that for references though. So thanks for watching again. This is a 2019, it's the fifth generation Toyota 4Runner.